Whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs or technology, addiction can take many forms. According to the Canadian Mental Health Association, approximately 20% of the population will meet the criteria for addiction in their lifetime. Joshua Montgomery is the general manager of Greenstone Muskoka. It's an addiction treatment facility, and he joins us now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Ben. Okay, what are some of the main signs that somebody is struggling with addiction? Yeah, uh, there's a number of signs, but you, you definitely want to look at, you know, uncharacteristical changes of, of somebody. Uh, first of all, their mood presentation. Are they becoming more irritable, maybe a little more depressed, a little more anxious? What's their physical presentation looking like? Uh, are they a little unkempt? Uh, are they not attending to kind of their, their outward appearance? Uh, as well, things like if, if individuals are missing time at work or at school or not showing up to family events, if they're really isolating, those are kind of the major signs of, of somebody maybe uh, being addicted to, to a substance. I, I want to talk about the work that you do at your facility because if there's one thing that uh, is a sad, a sadly commonplace on our show, mm -hmm. it's talking about the opioid crisis that yes. is facing our country and indeed North America. Uh, has that made its way into your facility? Absolutely. I mean, we see individuals that, uh, that are, are addicted to opioids for sure, um, but still the most common uh, drug is, is actually alcohol. Um, the opioids are, are getting a lot of national recognition, and they should because, um, you know, people are dying at a very fast rate. But the reality of it is, is alcohol is, is still the number one drug of choice. Um, and, and it's embedded into our culture. It's embedded into our society. Um, you know, you go to a family uh, event, you go to a sporting event, anything we do, uh, it's, you know, let's have a beer, a glass of wine. Uh, and it's very socially accepted. So I think people tend to not really recognize alcohol as a drug. Uh, let's talk about the families. What can families and friends do uh, when they do suspect somebody yeah. is addicted? That's a great question. I think families, um, you know, addiction is something that nobody's really taught about, and we just recently started talking about it. Um, so if somebody is addicted, what I would recommend is, you know, speaking to your physician, if you have a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, uh, you could reach out to services such as Al-Anon, even call addictions facilities and ask them for some guidance. There are some misconceptions about treatment. Now, yes. you, you're the manager of Greenstone Muskoka. It's a treatment facility. Yes. If, if somebody finds themselves in a position to say, I want to get help mm -hmm. or I want to get someone I love into treatment, what can they expect at your facility? Um, you can expect uh, a lot of therapy, obviously. Um, you know, any reputable facility would do one-to-one -one therapy, group therapy, psychoeducation. Uh, we're a little more progressive in some, some ways. We allow, we allow individuals to have cell phones. Uh, we do kind of unorthodox things. We do cooking classes. We do foraging for, for mushrooms. We allow people, we kind of... Um, we expose people to things that they may have lost touch with sure. or uh, some hobbies that maybe they didn't know they had interest in. What would you say is the most challenging aspect to treatment? Um, I think individuals want treatment, but it's the work that they have to put into it. It's not easy. Yeah. Like anything, you have to work at it. And is, is it sometimes I've, I've heard from, from people who've gone through treatment that the, the toughest part is when sort of the, the, the fog of of the substance is lifted. That's when they can, that's when they have to take stock of, of the, the damage that's been done. And that can sometimes be the hardest thing to get over. Absolutely. Once they start to feel those things, normally they would cope with those feelings by using, you know, some substance. Uh, and, and when that's taken away, they're, they're flooded with emotion. So that can be quite overwhelming. Um, but luckily, you know, we have got great staff there to, to help support them through that. And can I ask, is there a standard amount of time that somebody stays in treatment? Typically, we see about 45 days. Some people extend to 60 days. Uh, 45 days is kind of a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the, the, I, I've, I've heard the expression that relapse is part of recovery. Is that commonplace? It is. I, I think we have to be realistic that uh, relapse will happen, and it's not what do you do you know, if it happens, it's what do you do about it when it does happen. Yeah. And, and so that people have to have the, the tools to then recognize that it's happened and how they can get, get back to a good support system, yeah. have a plan in place, and make sure they reach out. Well, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you very much, We appreciate it. Thank you. And for more information on Greenstone Muskoka, we will have a link on our website, yourmorning.ca. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.